this. She's got in tens, she's got five tens. Right, there's five tens. She's got four fives. One, two, three, four, five. These are fives. Four, oh wait, four fives. Five tens. One, two, three, four, five. And four fives. One, two, three, four. I drew an extra five. I could have erased one of them. Uh, and 17 one dollar bill so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna write 17 ones and I'm just gonna make that a thing like that and I'm gonna call all of this Saturday SA uh, on Sunday she received so now on Sunday she got four tens one two three four Five fives, five, 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 and fifteen ones, and I'm just going to draw a box for fifteen ones. I said I'm going to draw all fifteen of them. Uh, how much more money did she get on Saturday than on? So we want to know how much more. How much more is, we want to find out, she got more money. She got, it says how much more. She must have got more on Saturday than she got on Sunday. And we want to know the difference. How much more did she get on Saturday? Um, so we could just look at what we have here and start crossing stuff out and figure out the difference. The, the easiest way to do it would be to use the picture like that. Um, uh, that way we don't even have to figure out how much he got on Saturday or Sunday. We just have to look at what's left and count it. So we could do it just like that. Um, we have to cross out one, two, three, four, four of these tens over here, right? One, two, three, four. So she's got a ten left there. And now we're going to look at these fives. So, yeah, all right. And then one, two, three, four. We're going to subtract all these fives from Saturday. And we're going to see what's left. There's a 10, right? So there. And then we have one, two, three fives. Get rid of those. One, two, three fives, right? So that's all the fives. And now we have to get rid of 15. Well, this the 17, if we take away 15 ones from that 17, we're going to have two ones left. And then we're looking at, right? And then we can just see what we have left a five and two ones, so that's $7. So that means she got seven more dollars on Sunday than she, on Saturday, than she got on Sunday. And we can just write it out. Mary Jo got $7 more on Saturday. Now, if you want to do this, um, adding up the numbers as you go, you could figure out Saturday that uh, she has five tens, that's 50, four fives is 20, so that's 70. And then uh, the 17 ones, you could figure out that Saturday was eighty-seven dollars and you can look at Sunday and if you're good with these forty five fives is twenty five that's sixty five then there's uh, seventy five that's eighty so Sunday is all of Sunday is eighty dollars and then you could have just gone like this just write a number sentence eighty seven minus eighty equals seven and you could have done it that way too. Either way would have worked. Alexis has $95. She has two more $5 bills, five more $1 bills, 
and two more $10 bills than Kasai. How much money does Kasai have? So we could just draw a picture here. She has $95. We need fives and ones and tens. If we're going to draw a picture, we could do it like this. Uh, we need fives, ones, and tens. So she's going to have two more fives, five more ones, and two more tens. So we're going to need at least two fives in here. So let's go. Let's just draw $95 in tens first. Ten, ten, nine, thirty. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. All right, that's 90, and it's got a Lexus, right? This is how this is what a Lexus has. A Lexus. And she has 90 and 5. She's got $95. Now, let's see. If we're going to use this picture, we say that uh, she has, we're going to need to, we need more fives to figure this out. And then we're going to need some ones. So, uh, we could do it this way. Make this ten into two fives. Right, and then we'd have the two more the two more fives and the tens we can get rid of the two of the tens but we're still gonna need uh, five more one we're gonna need some ones so if I break this up here into five ones one two three four five this is still the $95 I'm just I'm just regrouping so this should still add up to 95, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, five more 95. So here's Alexis and she has two more fives. If she has two more, Kasai has two less. So Kasai is gonna have two less fives. And then if she has five more ones, then Kasai is gonna have five less ones. And if she has two more tens, then Kasai is going to have two less. And then we just count what's left and we'll see what Kasai has. They're all tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Kasai is $60. $60. Uh, you could have also done it like this. If Alexis has 95, and then you could also figure out if she has more, then he has less. You could just draw this. She's got 95. Whatever Kasai has here. That's two more fives. That's $10. Five more ones, that's another five dollars, and two more tens, that's twenty dollars. So twenty, thirty, thirty-five, thirty-five, and then you can figure out ninety-five minus thirty-five. That's gotta be sixty, and that's what Kasai has. And this is what this is Alexis's money here. This is the more. <laughs> That's how much more she has than he does, and he has the 60. Oops, 60. So you could do it that way too. Finally, we have Kate has two $10 bills, six $5 bills, and 21 $1 bills before she spent $45 on a new outfit. How much money was not spent? So when you're buying stuff in a store, oops, sorry. But when you're buying stuff in a store, 
the money you spend is the money that you you you're giving out that you don't get to keep so you that means when you're spending the money you're subtracting it from what you have to see what you have left so how much money was not spent so we're going to have a diagram that looks like this here's what she had she had two tens six fives and 21 ones so okay let's just draw what she has and figure it out because we, we get a we got to draw a picture anyway rdw for this right so she had two tens six fives And 21 $1, I'm not going to draw all 21 $1 bills. I'm just going to put 21 in a box. Uh, before she spent, she's going to spend $45 on a new outfit. Now I'm looking at this and I, I don't see right away how I'm going to cross out $45. I, mean, I could work with this picture to do it. But the idea is this, that however, whatever she has right here, whatever, all this money right here, that's how much money she had H and in the end there's going to be the money she spent spent and this is how much money was not spent N so this is what we're going to try and find out so we know what she has we got to count this and figure out what she has we know what she spent she spent $45 so we know that's 45 is what she spent and it, and it it can't be the forty five can't go here because it's uh, it, it's got she, she's gonna have money left over so whatever number that she started with has to be more than the forty five because you can't spend more than you have so we're gonna figure out what she has here this is twenty five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty that's thirty. So together that's 50, and the 21, that's 71. So 71 is what she started with. And then we see we just have a missing, you can either look at this as a missing add end, or you just solve the subtraction. It's 71 minus 45. And uh, if you wanted, this is, you could do this vertically if you wanted. 71. 45 all right I can't subtract 5 from the 1 so I'm gonna do some renaming here 6 tens left that's 11 11 minus 5 is 6 and 6 minus 4 is 2 I can get my 26 that way I could, I could also just look at this and think um, if it was 70 minus 45 I could add Five to both of these numbers and I'd be looking at 76 minus 50 and that would be really easy to do in my head I would have 26 left it's still I'm still gonna get the 26 there's a lot of different ways to do that subtraction but that's what you're gonna get for your answer 26 but you're gonna have to have this big picture like that or you're gonna have to have your number bond labeled uh, you're gonna have to have this number sentence here and you're going to have to have your answer statement Kate did not spend $26 uh, if you're going to use the picture to do this uh, of the money then I, I would do it like this uh, the, the 21 you're gonna have to this is gonna have to add up to you have to get 45 out of this somehow so this 21 I'm thinking you need to get 40 to 45 I would make this a 20 and a 1 and now you can get to 45 because you could just do you could say 20 30 40 5 and then just count the money you have left. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 
26. It's the same 26 you have here that you have there and there and there. It's just another way to get it.